You uh, to, add to, to the, add to the my collection. Indeed, thank you very much. Now, we were saying earlier, I wonder whether we can talk about Todd Carty without referring to Grange Hill. And here's what we're going to say next. Todd Carty, Carter, Keita Carter, Goody Hat Carty. Became, <laughs> I, I have been on holiday for two weeks. <laughs> Todd Carty became a household name as Tucker in Grange Hill. Yep. And Mark Fowler in EastEnders. But for his latest ventures, he's taken on two very different roles. He's singing and dancing in Spamalot, the hit musical. And he's just directed his first feature film. It's for the British Youth Film Academy. It's called The Perfect Burger. It's a modern take on Sweeney Todd. Before we chat to uh, Todd. Hello. Hi, good nice morning. Nice to see you. Thank Let's you. see a scene from the film. Here it is. <laughs> Elton, first aid kit now, please. Ah, looks like you've sliced the tip of your thumb off. Better get you down to A&E for a stitch or two. I wonder if it's worth taking the tip of your thumb with us, just in case they can sew it back on. No, it was only a tiny bit. Too small to bother about, come on. Oh, does that mean it's in the burger then? It could very well it be. Could very well be in the burger. Things that <laughs> go bump in the night, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the British Youth Film Academy. Yeah, I, I did. Um, it's the Cooperative uh, British Youth Film Academy, and um, I did two films of them as an actor. And one night, I think we're having a couple of glasses of wine with the producer, and he said, "Would you like to direct your first feature film?" And so after I bit his fingers off and yeah. spat them back out again, um, I mean, the, the BYFA, the Cooperative BYFA, is basically for young people who are undergraduates or from the age of 14 all the way up who want to get into the film industry, and uh, they bring pros in and they bring professional actors in, and they may never get the chance to be in films or be on a film set. So this is sort of like their apprenticeship. So, and thank God for the co cooperative because they've given us £500,000 over three years to fund, to fund us to go out and make movies. It's but so what, important to get that first experience. Yeah. So you can put it on your TV say, look, I have done something. And yeah, absolutely so. So when they go, in, they go into the business or they, they, they meet a production company for the first time, they've already said, well, actually, I've worked for the BYFA. Yeah. So it's a bit like when I was a kid, the Children's Film Foundation. So this is like a modern version of that. But, yeah. you know, thank God for the co-op to give us all that money because otherwise we'd be, you know, we'd be dead in the water. With the British Film Foundation, I remember the, the, watching those on a Saturday morning. Yeah. I mean, where, where do you get to see films like this that, that young people have made? Well, you don't now, do you? Because it used to be, it's all, you know, television and um, hundreds of channels now, you know. But um, hopefully we'll get, you know, the perfect burger, the film that I've directed. Um, uh, I suppose in connection with, um, because it's a comedy horror and loosely yeah. based on, um, on uh, Sweeney Todd. Oh, you're showing a bit of it now then. Mm. And, um, you know, instead of, uh, you know, putting kids into pork pies, we put them into hamburgers instead to give it the, the, the modern slant. Yeah. So um, hopefully, round about Halloween time, yes. you know, in connection with the uh, horror thing, we can get it released. Excellent. Uh, what was it like? Becoming a director, were you a complete novice? Was it your well, no, I directed for the BBC. I directed six episodes of Doctors, Doctors so yes, I did yes, have yes, some experience. Yes. But I remember there was one day, the sun was shining, there were 300 kids, 300 adults, 300 extras and about 60 crew. The first AD said, action. And it was about a three-minute sequence, chasing through tunnels and all that kind of thing. And I went, cut. And I thought, cool, oh, I like this. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I want more of this. Oh, so, of this. so it yeah. didn't really intimidate you? You thought you didn't look around you, see all these hundreds of people, and mm. when they said, actually, it's all down to me now. I've well, it is all work. down to you. I mean, if it's really good, everyone will give you the credit. And if it's really bad, you, you, you know, you get the, the yeah. thick end of the word, you know. But um, I loved it, and I'm going to be doing some more directing, hopefully, for the BYFA. Um, next year, some more, some more Sintronians type uh, films. How have you fitted that in with Spamlock? Because you've been on tour with Spamlock for what, about six months? Um, no, I've been on tour with Spamlock for about six weeks. Six I, will weeks. Be, I will be on it for six months. Okay. I've got another six months to go. We're in Southampton tonight, Stoke next week, then Liverpool, Aberdeen. But, um, and I've got to loosely, I, c I can't sing and I can't dance, but I can act a little. <laughs> and, uh, and I get to sing Always Look on the Bright Side of Life, which, oh. is, uh, which is the reason why I did it. You know, but great cast, great crew. Can we have a look at you singing that? Oh, do you really yeah, want to? I, yeah. Oh, I'll okay. tell you what, you look away now. I'll look away now, please. And we'll watch. Okay, thank you. It's Come over on. here. <laughs> and always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the right side of life. For life is quite absurd, and that's the final word. You must always face the curtain with a bow. Forget about your sin, give the audience a grin, enjoy it, it's your last chance anyhow.
It lifts the heart. It, though, doesn't it? it lifts the heart. <laughs> we both went to see it when it first opened. Oh, yeah. And, and there is something about it. I thought, I wonder whether it'll actually last. Mm. And it has, I think, because people need something a bit silly. Don't well, they? I think so. I mean, it's... hopefully you can go out of the theatre. I mean, uh, a heavy Shakespearean tragedy, it is not. Mm. So, and most people go out of the audience with, you know, with, a, with, with a cheer in their heart. Mm. And they really do seem to enjoy it. It's, it's very much a cast stroke audience um, uh, show. You yeah, know? absolutely. And it's very, even if you, you, know, you expect Monty Python fans only to, to want to see it, but it, it has a much broader appeal. Yeah, but that. you know when Python fans are in, because when the Knights of Knee come out and they go, we are the Knights of Knee, the yeah. audience will go, Knee. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a few, few friends, producer friends of mine came along and never even saw a python in their life and they came with an open mind so it is really for all the family last night we had a six or seven year old and he was chuckling his little head off and i said at half time i said could you make that little boy out there yeah. you know and then we've got a 90 year old um, granny up on stage yeah. so it's really across the board oh. it really is across the board. fantastic fun well enjoy the rest of the tour thank you and thanks very much for coming in and good and luck with the movie perfect, as well the film. thank you guys all Look right forward thank to you. seeing it Todd is in the UK tourist spam lot, stopping in Southampton from tonight. Perfect Burger opens later mm -hmm. in the year. That is it for us for today. Tomorrow we're live.